So this is the ABBA Skylift. I've had this for getting on for a year now. I've had everything on it from uh, obviously the ZX6R uh, to a MSX125, a Grom, right up to a Nikon. Needless to say, I've been really impressed. So, you can see I haven't got much room in this garage, but I really love working on bikes. And uh, especially on something like this, it's a project bike. You haven't really got much space um, to do stuff if you need to do something else. And if I'm, you know, I've got my uh, own S1000 XR, I don't need space for, and any other work bikes. But having it on here, you can see, I can just move it around. I can just move it around, push it out of the way, tuck it into the corner, and the bike's out of the way, you know, I can, I can get around the garage and it's just brilliant. I've always wanted a ramp. Always thought I wanted a ramp. And actually a really good friend of mine has got a ramp and he said, you can have it, mate. He's got a double garage. He said, you can have it. Just gets in the way, I keep falling over it. And that's the trouble. I would just keep falling over it. So if I had it down here, I had big plans for digging out this floor, uh, setting the ramp into it flush so that I wouldn't trip over it and then having it rise up. That was gonna be too much work. Here, I have kind of got bags of space that I can just move the bike in and out get into position. If I'm working on this side, obviously I can move it there. If I'm working on the other side, I can just go around, get it in position, push it to the side I want, and do some work. If I want to turn it, I can. I just work on the bike so easily on this. The great thing is, obviously, you can have it upright like this, you can have it up in the air. Uh, it's really easy to move about, and it's got so much capacity. And now, as you can see, it's dead easy to assemble. Uh, dead easy to get the bike up on it. Now obviously in that clip, uh, I had the right pins in, ready to go, uh, and I had the height set right, but it takes, honestly, five minutes tops to completely set it up for a new bike. Absolute maximum, that's assuming you have to change the height of stuff. Normally it's just pump it to the right height, slot it in and off you go. There is an act to it. There is an act to getting this kind of done right, because as you, as you go in and, and put the bike on, you have to trust it to hold it, but it's fine. It genuinely does hold it, um, but it's, it's just so valuable. Now, you do need a fairly smooth surface. I've used it outside on the block paving uh, and it's, it works fine, but you can't really roll it around very well because um, the imperfections in the blocks and the, the grooves bet between the blocks, it, it gets really lumpy. So you're best off using it on a smooth surface. But in the garage like this, being able to work on something and then just put it away, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And it will take any weight. When you saw me, my 
not in substantial bulk on it on top of this bike and it was fine. I wouldn't recommend you do that too much, but it's totally fine. Uh, I had Nikon on it. It's so good for being able to get to everything on it. You can typically uh, pick these up sometimes at a bit of a discount at um, bike shows. Do always look out forever, but if you're interested in one, it honestly is one of the, I'd say it's the most useful tool I've got. It used to be my um, tool chest that my wife won me in a Halfords competition years ago. Uh, and that is still, if, if you haven't got a tool chest, having a tool chest does make a massive difference. Obviously after you've got some decent sockets and ratchet, uh, sockets and spanners. Um, but this thing is so good. And I'd been put off one. Uh, my dad had offered to get me one for years. Uh, whenever we go to shows, he'd say, do you want one, son? Do you want one for Christmas? And I was like, yeah, I'd like it, but oh, I've got nowhere to put it. It'll just get in the way. But I love the fact that these, uh, these two feet out here, once the bike's off it, obviously, take those out and it just stays against the wall. Uh, takes up very little space. It takes me about three, four minutes tops to assemble it. And because I'm typically using this where I've got the bike, uh, I'm doing a fair bit of work to this. I mean, this bike's probably going to not come off this stand now for two or three weeks. But it's great. The wheels are going to be off it. I'm going to, it's going to be fairly well stripped down. I'm going to have the forks out because I've blown forks in. I've got to work on those. The bike can be in bits, but I can still get it out of the way. If, if you're serious about working on your bikes, or even if you just like tinkering with your bikes, if you need a bit, if you haven't got acres of garage space, I dream of a double garage. But if you haven't got much space, and even if you have, it's so good because you can move the bike around, you can get to it, you can get it up high, you can access things. Um, you'll notice with this, obviously, because it's going through the swing arm pivots, you couldn't take the swing arm out, but there is an adapter you can get for it. So you can hang it off of the um, part of the footrest mounts. Um, it's so good. I honestly can't recommend it. It's an investment. It's a lot of money. It's an investment. You'll see some people moaning that they're a fiddle or a faff. To be honest, they probably haven't got one. They've never used one. Um, yeah. It, takes a bit of getting used to for the first two or three times you put a bike on it. But once you've got the knack, you just whip the bike up and I just, yeah, it's brilliant.